Musikproduktiv und Musetalk TV präsentieren den Videocast von der Musikmesse 2011. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum Messecast 2011 von der Frankfurter Musikmesse und neben mir ist hier der Eric von Kopperlan. Hallo Eric. Hallo. So you have a very interesting technology here showing everywhere on these. We have a variety of uh, different um, uh, uh, laptops, we have a mixing desk, we even have a, uh, yes, a, a, a light, light. A, a light, and it's yes. all connected via Copperlan. What is it? Yes, indeed. So uh, Copperlan is a networking system that allows to connect almost anything. As you could see here, we have indeed uh, MIDI equipment, we have virtual instruments, we have, uh, we have light, we have professional products such as a broadcast console, and all these products have something in common, they can talk the same language. That language is some advanced way of connecting things, it is backwards MIDI compatible, and uh, it allows you to, to connect almost anything you have in a studio. And the nice thing is that for end users, we have uh, freeware applications that allow them to manage their, their, their existing MIDI setup without any, any um, Copperland equipment, in fact, which is a very nice, a nice way to start with the whole thing. And today, uh, new for the show, we have a complete application suite that allows people to make their existing VST plugins Copperland compatible. Okay, so I mean, how, how do I understand? Is it something like a MIDI compatible protocol or how does it work? Um, a protocol is something which is also part of Copperland, but it's on the top, the, the, let's say just the, the tip of the iceberg. Because underneath, we have a complete networking way of controlling things. We begin with our own protocol on top of the Ethernet, but we work also on FireWire and USB, up to the point that you can connect all these together, almost randomly, I would say, and they look and they appear for the user as being one, completely united. So for the user, it means it doesn't have to worry whether how things are located and how they are connected. They just are connected and that's enough. They can talk Copperland automatically. Okay. So when I want to talk Copperland, how do I connect? What do I need? Okay. Is it an Ethernet connection? In, in this case, for the demonstration, we have uh, some uh, USB and some Ethernet. So we have uh, PCs, we have Mac, we have iPad, we even have an iPhone application. And these are connected, of course, with wireless in the case of the iPad and Ethernet for the others. We have a small application for USB and we have even have a, a box that allows to put USB products without any computer, which makes USB into Ethernet. So once something is configured, like on stage, for instance, or theaters and so on, you can work without any computer inside. Wow, that's cool. The configuration in Copperland is done by the fact that products are declaring themselves their, their capabilities. Let me give you an example. In this case here, you have this synthesizer. So if I go into the parameter page, I will take the mouse faster, and uh, I select this synthesizer, and I go into the filter, I can change the setting, and of course it is changing simultaneously in multiple places. But if I now go to another computer, let's say, I go here to my iPad and I take the same page precisely like this and I change the setting from here it is synchronized and so it all changes in all places at once but is it is it to just uh, to understand is it controlling or do I also send audio signal uh, no at this point Copperland is not doing audio we plan to have audio just for this corporate plug application about plugin so that audio will fly back to the, the host. Uh, Copperland does not intend to be um, a, a complete uh, high end pro audio way of doing uh, transport because there are so many solutions already. But Copperland does nicely with them because it fits as a separate layer on top of those. Copperland is not IP based, it's transparent to IP and works along existing IP solutions. They coexist, same cable, same routers, nothing special. So you can combine existing things that you can buy from companies for many years already and put Copperland on top of that without any, any trouble. Great, sounds good. And um, last question is, how many units can I connect? I mean, I see at least 10 units here. Is it, are they all connected in one system? The limit will be really about the physical capabilities of your system. So if you, uh, if you work only with a uh, high-end gigabit Ethernet, you can put literally thousands of units. In Copperland, there is no real limit because the identifying of the product is done 
with a long, long number, which is, is roughly uh, the equivalent as if it was 96 bit long. Oh, Jesus, yes, so crazy. Billions of billions of, uh, of endpoints. So okay. <laughs> there's no, no, no real limit. Yeah, great, Eric. Yeah, thank you very much for explaining yes. to our viewers. Very oh, oh, yes. Um, so we have, the, we have, okay, um, Ostdeutsch here. We have these two nice freewares that you can find on our website. Just try and have fun. Thank you. Thanks.